So I was having a conversation with a couple friends of mine yesterday that are clients right now, and I have their property listed on the MLS right now and about 900 other websites. They wanted a certain price at the very beginning, and I shared with them what that could do to their listing if we price it this high over what the actual comparables are saying. And trust me, I lose listings because other agents are desperate for their listing and they'll take it over price knowing they can beat them up. I don't like to do that. I like to be upfront, look the client in the eye and have a conscience of saying, this is what it's gonna sell at if we list now. However, some people wanna start higher, leave room for negotiating. We did. Next thing you know, we had to do it in 21, 25 days. We had to lower the price again. Well, unfortunately, we're getting down again to come down to a lower price now because the other market comps, meaning the other actives and or pendings are sold, um, are showing that that price will reflect that, especially the actives that are getting no offers that are bigger, maybe have one less car parking. So we really have to look at the overall picture of what the market's doing. Everybody's saying, oh, it's hot, it's hot. I was on the phone with another client today talking about the interest rates. Did you see what happened today? They just dropped again. And he's all, well, doesn't that mean that I can raise the price of my home? <laughs> I had to laugh and I said, well, um, no, it does not mean. It just means that the buyers might have a little bit more power to buy your home. However, the price of your home is based on the market. You don't create it. I don't create it. It's the buyers in the market to create the market. So I had to tell them is that they may be able to buy your home. However, it's going to be based on condition. It's going to be based on location and it's going to be based on the amenities that you have for the home. So we had to have that conversation. I'm saying, look at the market. You're starting to see more inventory coming up. You're seeing less pendings go into pending status and less solds. So we're down negative double digits on both of those pendings and sold. That's a big deal. People, you have to look at pricing. You have to look at the inventory, supply and demand. And then actually, what are the buyers? in the market saying about it. Because a lot of the homes in a lot of areas of San Diego are taking more time to sell and a lot of the agents aren't doing their job and saying it needs to be priced here because then the market will set that price as a good price, you'll get multiple offers and they could bid it up or they'll bid right at it if it's a good market price. But the market will not let you underprice it because you'll get multiple bids, but if you overprice it, then you're not gonna get any bids and you're gonna have to come down, which is a tougher one to come down than going up. So it's Carlos here. It's a little bit of a psychology in the residential market. However, it's a lot of pricing, knowing the uh, market trends, knowing the locations, uh, also knowing what buyers want in the condition. So we live in an amazing place in San Diego and allow me to help you if you're thinking about pricing. Also, I'm getting a lot of calls now from my uh, mailers that have been going out and uh, they're asking, hey, I'm upgrading my home or I want to do some, uh, I want to put a wine cellar in, I want to uh, build a new deck, whatever it is, let me know. I've got great vetted vendors that I've been using, been building a lot of my multi-units. So electricians, plumbers, uh, um, drywall today, roofers, plumbers, whatever it may be that you need regarding real estate, call me. It's Carlos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next real estate update.